everybody, and welcome back once again to Let's Play Skyrim. As we left off, we were in the new Nisi's Corner Club, hunkering down for the night. Sleeping on the floor, no less. Not quite the epitome of luxury, but, uh, well, a place to rest is a place to rest. We woke up this morning, fairly bright and early, itching to solve this murder mystery. Nord women are being butchered in the night and we are trying to get to the bottom of it. So, Elwyn couldn't afford to sleep in today. His mind was racing. He has to try and help this town as much as he can. Can't have women getting slaughtered. So, uh, anyway, we need to speak, apparently, uh, to somebody in this house, Shattershield to try and get access to Hirim, which is where the blood trail led to. So, here we are, ready to enter, and hopefully get the key so that we can go inside. That is going to be our primary concern today, and if we manage to finish this before the, uh, the day is up, then we can consider what we're going to do next. But for now, we're pretty much preoccupied. Occupied indeed. Old Columbo here. Right. Hello. This is Shatter Shield. Random stranger in your house. Nothing to fear. I'm here on behalf of somebody important. <laughs> Ah, and there she is. Tova. I've been a bit out of sorts since since our daughter was taken from us. Oh, I'm so, so sorry to hear that. Not really sure what to do with myself anymore. I just miss her so much. Uh, as hard as it may be, I do have some questions about your daughter. I'm here to investigate the murders. I'm sorry. She was very dear to me, and it's rather painful to think about. I'd rather not talk about my daughter. If you'll excuse me. Please. I'm trying to find out who did this. And, well, I was hoping that you'd offer your assistance where you can. Well, all right. What exactly do you need to know? I'd like to investigate her house. Seems like the, the perfect place to start. But I, uh, I, need, uh, I need a key. Yerim? Well, I'm not sure what you think you'll find there, but you're welcome to have a look. Oh, thank you. Thank you so much. I, I, if I... If I, uh... I try not to think of her, but sometimes the simplest thing will remind me. Oh, I'm sorry. If I find anything uh, of note, I will return to you with information. No mother should have... Come on, Berlina. It's very sad. Very sad. Sad times here. Very morbid atmospheres. Ah. How did you get in front of me? You do have some weird tendencies, I tell you. Right, come on. Get to this house and uh, see what we can find out. Scene of the crime, perhaps. So, looking for clues. Okay. Well, there's a blood-coloured chest over there, so I'm <laughs> sure that will be a major clue as we just sort of amble across. From the mat on the floor, it looks like this box was pushed against the wall recently. That 
how significant how beware the butcher and butcher journal number one let me just take a seat here and read these uh, clues So, beware the butcher. The killer who haunts the streets of Windhelm. These calamitous times bring out the worst in people. Don't become the next victim. See Viola Giordano if you spot any suspicious behaviour. Viola Giordano. And here is... The Butcher Journal, number one. The plans are coming together swimmingly. I found good sources of bone, flesh and blood. But thus far a good sampling of sinew and marrow have escaped me. No matter. The city is swollen with contemptuous fools who will be missed by nobody. Last night was almost able to corner Susanna as she left Candlehearth. Idiot guard showed up at just the wrong moment, and I had to turn about just out for a stroll and so forth. There will be other chances, but the time is drawing near. I think back to my time in Winterhold, all the wasted mines up in their towers. They only explore the magic they already know. I am discovering new magic here, something deeper than the cantrip shenanigans of fire and light. This flesh magic is older than us, perhaps older than the world itself. I am tugging at the corners of the fabric of the universe, and where it bunches and folds is where I shall create my greatest triumph. One more attempt at the candle half girl. She's proven to be a bit too cautious, but those strong joints of hers shall contain the most exquisite tendons. Worth the effort tonight oh my goodness just when you think the reputation of the college couldn't get any lower through the actions of idiots we have another one of our fold now butchering people for god knows what necromatic bloody rituals this has just provided Elwyn with a completely new impetus to finding this this murderer. And if we could, we'd probably upturn this table in, in bloody anger. <sighs> this wardrobe seems to be nailed to the wall for some reason. Nailed to the wall? Is it a secret door? Oh, shit. Shooting lights. <laughs> oh God. What about this one? This perfectly good wardrobe has been left behind for some reason. Because it's full of gold. <laughs> okay. The shelf is filled with more of those butcher flyers from around the city. One pyre looks misshapen. Wait a minute, there's something underneath it. Strange amulet. Leader, I don't like the look of this. 
Nope, oh, phone's ringing. Okay, sorry about that. Now, where were we? That's right, we were about to, uh, first of all, just nip across to the other side of this uh, room to see if there's anything in here. There's nothing in here, so now we were going to open the secret door here once again. We didn't want to go inside here and see all the blood, guts and carnage, but we have no choice. This is obviously the work of a necromancer. Obviously the work of a necromancer. And it's paining me to see it. Knowing full well somebody from the Flaming College or used to be is responsible. I mean, we're assuming, of course. He mentioned the college, but it doesn't necessarily mean he went there. Anyway. I suppose we are only assuming what others will assume. This altar is built to some unknown magic. It looks like someone is using body parts towards some gruesome end. And here is the Butcher's Journal number two. 17 tendons and assorted ligaments, 173 fragments of bone for assemblage, approximately 4 bucketfuls of blood, Nord preferred, 6 spoons of marrow, no more than 2 from a thigh, and 12 yards of flesh before cutting. Star scrying to the edge of the ice mine, look to the lights where the souls dance, revealing the time when a spark will revive, when the rotted units unites under the most skillful hands. Translating from old text, as interpreted by the aliens and first transcribed by Altma. Provenance and authority unknown soon. Okay, step around the carnage. What's waiting for us upstairs, I wonder? Probably more death destruction. Maybe nothing. Maybe absolutely nothing. The chair is stacked on the bed in an odd fashion. Yes, it is, but does it have any significance to this situation? A bit of broken glass? I hope nobody jumps out on me. <laughs> ah! Okay, so we have a uh, few extra bits of information now that we can use. Now, what do we do with them? That's the next question. We'll just consult our journal, uh, get a handy hint. Bit of inspiration for old Elwyn to uh, see where he's going next. We're going to just take off the miscellaneous quest for now, the markers. Follow up on the clues. Follow up on the clues. We could go speak with the Ollie from Report. What else could we do? What else could we do? What else could we do? Get outside, get some fresh air to our lungs and uh, consider where we're going next. <sighs> okay, I lost my bearings there for a second. <laughs> Thinking, did we come in this door? This is a different exit. It's the same exit. Right, okay. So we need to follow up on the clues. To follow up on the clues, where are we following them up to? Where are we following them up to? Probably speak to your leaf to be fair. Yeah, I think that might be where he's putting... It might be where it's pointing us. But if it's not pointing us there and your leaf's not going to help us, then how on earth are we going to follow up on the clues? Hmm, the mind boggles at this point. Let's see if we can speak to Yorli first before we start racking our brains. 
I'm hoping he has something to say to us on the matter. Or, or we, we can report our findings so far to him. Ah, How go. long are you going to wait? Are we having this conversation again? I'm not much of a strategist, but Lord Ulfric listens to my counsel all the same. Can you tell me anything about the butcher, perchance? Grew up here, cold as at Mora, but that just grows the beard sticker. Lots of history in these walls. We're trying to make some more. It's a lucky time to be alive. Have I asked the wrong question? Sorry. <laughs> Have you been talking to Viola Giordano? She posts those all over the city, and someone keeps taking them down. Ask her about it if you want an earful. And uh, this amulet here, I, I, do you recognize it? I've never seen anything like it. I would take this to Calixto at the House of Curiosities. He has a good eye for strange trinkets. Might even give you a bit of gold for it. Oh, really? It's not for sale. It's dangerous out there. Thank you for your knowledge, Mr. Yorli. We know the price. Let them two carry on surmising, plotting and scheming about how to take over Win uh, Winterhold. Well, Winterhold, White Run. Again, these W towns. There's too many of them. Right. Well, I know where I want to go first. I was already interested in finding out about this House of Curiosities, and therefore we have the perfect excuse for popping along. So, uh, to the Curiosities. In fact, no. She's here first. Viola! After what happened to those other women, I'm worried about my own safety. Yes, you, you worry with, with good reason from what I've seen. Tell me, what uh, do you know about the Butcher? I've been following him for months now. Well, not actually following. Trying to find him. The guards won't help. The people won't help. I'm the only one who thinks he can be caught. Listen, I found this journal in the... <laughs> I suppose you could call it... Uh... His little lair. Huh? What's it say? Sounds like a court mage has been experimenting. A court mage? Woonfirth. There have been rumors swirling about him for years. As long as I can remember. But he's a dangerous man. That's why they call him the Unliving. I wouldn't approach him directly. This information needs to go straight to the steward. He'll listen to you. Oh, shoot in hell. No, I don't want to speak to him yet. I want to go and speak to the Calixto fella. Explore all the angles before we go pointing the fingers. And how the hell have I come up with the conclusion that it's the court mage all of a sudden? It's just some, it could be any mage. Elvin, what are you doing? The cold must have addled your brain, man. This is not how we investigate. We investigate all angles before coming with our conclusions. Hopefully, Clickstow might still give us some information, even though the quest mark is not pointing us here anymore. Mr. Clickstow! No, I here to speak with you. Welcome to the House of Curiosity. I offer a brief tour for a few coins, or you can simply browse at your leisure. Thank you. Oh, well, I don't have time for tours, unfortunately, but I may return at some point in the future. I'm here to uh, show you this amulet to see if you know anything about it. Let me see. Ah, oh, yes. This is the Wheelstone. It's an heirloom symbol of the power of Windhelm. Traditionally, it's carried by the court mage. I would uh, be interested in acquiring it. If you're willing to part with it, that is. For a piece like that, I could pay 500 gold. Uh, sorry. Sorry. 
I'll, uh, it's, it's evidence at this moment in time. I think I will hold on it for the time being. If it changes in the future, though, I may return. Thank you for your, uh, knowledge. Suit yourself. It's only of value to collectors, though. Good luck finding anyone else who will appraise it that highly. It's not the price. I'm not quibbling about the price. A most pleasant chat. Until the next. It is just evidence. Hmm. House of Curiosities, eh? I may return for that, Torbalina. You know how I like museums. Just to get an idea about how to set up my own museum once I'm done here adventuring. 